We need to understand this. To simply sit here and to know experientially that this entire universe is actually a part of me will not happen to most people, they'll hallucinate for a few moments, after that they will get distracted by something. If you invest your life to create something which got nothing to do with you and something to do with everything, then slowly it will seep into you, into every cell in your body that everything is actually a part of you. To simply sit here and get it, we don't know, you may take many lifetimes. Most people won't get it. They may get one thought and tomorrow morning it'll be out. But if you invest your time, energy and life into creating something which is not about you at all, then slowly it sinks into you. Every cell, every atom in the body will soak it up and make you understand that your life, the way you are, is actually all-inclusive. Otherwise, it's just a talk. A whole lot of people, it's become a fad in the world. <laughs> I… I keep hearing this particularly in the United States, people say, we love the universe. Wow! That is the easiest bloody thing to do because it's not here. <laughs> if you have to love somebody who's next to you right now, it takes life, it costs life, you know. You may have to give something. If you have a mango in your hand, if you love somebody, you may have to give it away. But if you love the universe, you can eat the mango and love the universe <laughs> It's a wonderful trick <laughs> It's a very wonderful trick. It is like making all the offerings, jilebi, pakodi, this, that, everything <laughs> to God, knowing well he will not eat <laughs> Of course, you are the one who gets to eat it in the end. What did that mean? knowing very well that you are the one who will get to eat it. Children wanting to eat jalebi is perfectly fine. God wanting to eat jalebi is not okay <laughs> Huh? Because there is a huge deception in God wanting to eat jalebi. Children want to eat jalebi, it's a simple desire, you know? <laughs> So this has been going on for a long time, tricks and tricks and tricks and tricks. That's why when you have to create something, you have to keep your tricks aside and do what's needed. No room for tricks. If you do tricks, what you're doing will land on your head. You want to build this, what you have to do, you have to do it the way you have to do. If you play tricks, this will land on your head. When you're in action with the physical world, you cannot deceive yourself. This is a good thing about the world. But in your own mind, you love the universe, you know in how many ways you can deceive yourself. <laughs> Everybody likes to love somebody who is not here because it's so wonderful and you don't have to give away the mango that you have in your hand. You can eat it and love. But if you love the person next to you, that's a problem. You have to give the mango, at least half. And the damn mango, you can't cut it into half, one side will be more, one side less <laughs> You sat here and I say, and you tell the person next to you, I love you, mango in hand. 
there is a tendency wanting to give it away, but that person says, no, you also have, <laughs> then you cut it, one big piece, one small piece. <laughs> because you have made an unnecessary statement, I love you, you have to give the big piece. I love the universe. <laughs> you can eat the big piece and the small piece. <laughs> you love God, small piece you can give, big piece you can eat. But if you love somebody next to you, big piece you have to give it to them. <laughs>